Hey guys, Six Boy, and in this video, I'm just showing you guys how to overclock the Bitmain S1. So, the default um, the default hash rate is 180 giga hash per second, but in this video, we'll be overclocking it, so pushing the machine to the limit, and we'll be trying to make it to hash around 200 giga hash per second or maybe sometimes even up to 210 giga hash per second so it's um, quite a lot of um, change in the Bitcoin world because each 10 giga hashes does mean does, does make a huge difference so firstly you just go to download putty so the website is www.putty.org so you'll see this page and then you can see you can download putty here just click here and then I've chosen um, I'm using Windows um, as you can see and just click putty.exe it shouldn't take that much um, time um, it's just around 30, 30 seconds maximum so afterwards just make sure your your um, Bitcoin your S1 that may S1 address so for me it's 192.168.1.99 so the username is root password is root by default and as you can see I'm actually mining right now I'm mining it's around 180 giga hash average so just to make sure that we haven't overclocked our miner yet because if we overclock it again it will not it might break the miner so just close the um, browser for a sec so before we overclock I just want to say um, overclocking will void the warranty of um, Bitmain S1 from the factory, and um, I'm not um, I'm not responsible for any mistakes or any damage that causes your Bitmain S1 not work, not to work after the after you guys watch my video. So I'm not taking any responsibility. This is just a tutorial, and you're taking your own risk. If you um, by overclocking your S1. So, anyways, um, just click on Putty and just run it. And afterwards, as you can see, host name or the IP address is your Bitmain IP address. So, by default, it's 192.168.1.99. But if you change it, then use the changed. IP address of your miner. So just click open, and it should take five to ten seconds. Five to ten seconds to load everything up. Say yes. Login as root, and then password is root. So as you, okay. So now we're here. Um, the commands I I'm typing right now will be in the description, but I'll just say it out loud. Yes. If you don't want to pause it and copy and paste it, just follow with me. So first, you just type vi. That's few. Forward slash etc. Forward slash config. Forward slash asic. Dash freak. So you can see this package and then cg miner and config all the stuff. We're going to change the frequency to. 400 per chip, so the default is for 330 and uh, 350. My apologies, but before you overclock it, your um, you must make sure that your your power your power supply will be able to handle the frequency of each chip. So 400 times 64, that's like 20 20. 500 for that uh, 25,400 um, roughly um, so 
I'm using 7, uh, 750 uh, Corsa CX750 so to in order to edit edit the thing just press I press I and then just go to option uh, the first option and just cancel the hashtags and then put hashes on the second um, the second area of the options so the, your top three lines should not be commented or there, there should not be any hashes but then after so from the fifth line onwards there should be hashes on each um, starting line so hashes hashes hash so afterwards just um, press escape and then type colon wq so this will bring you back to the command line instead of editing the editing the document so just open just say